The NFL on EA Sports brings us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. We are set to go. Evan McPherson to do the honors, and we are underway from Cincinnati. And no run back here on the opening kickoff, as we'll start at the 25. Two and a throw right away. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down. So he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. It's a big play there for Miami, 54 yards. And normally when you think about huge field flipping plays like this, it's that shifty slot receiver, or that burner on the outside, not here. That's a tight end doing work down the field. Where's the oxygen mask? He's going to need it after that one. A big, big play. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Jalen Waddle taking it in from four yards out. And the Dolphins get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. So really a nice drive there for the first points of the game. And how about the fact that it was a run by the wide receiver that got him into the end zone, Brandon? You know, these guys, we know they're not afraid to open up the playbook, and they showed it to us right there on the first drive. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that makes the score 7-0. Jason Sanders to kick off for Miami. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 23. Here's 
Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field. Here we and go. they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit here you little people. <laughs> Good run there. Now it's Burrow. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. And the return here will go to the 31 yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They dial a running play here with Hill. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A well-executed 22-yard gain. This is one of those plays that could go either way, but we've seen the influence of the college game now in the NFL, where we're seeing more and more of these plays run, and that one went for a big game. Mostert. He pushes forward from maybe three down to the six-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. One more time with Mostert. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Mostert. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. So fourth down, two and departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. They find themselves down 10 0 early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned teams down 10. They've helped contribute to that. How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. Here we go. Here we go. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Burrow once again here on second and 10. Looking downfield for Jones. That's caught inside the 20. For a Cincinnati score. Charlie Jones, 63 yards. And the Bengals have cut it back within a score. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh, look out. And that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. 
And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. 10-7 our score after one, right here on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll swing this complete out to Hill. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Follow the gain of three on the play, and that'll leave them with a third and two. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Tua setting up shop to throw again. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Oche. And he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They're going to line up to go for this thing on fourth down. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there. But they do convert on fourth. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and 10. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. They'll bring a tight end in motion right. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. Tonga Bailo on the throw on second down here. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. They'll try and run here with Mostert. 
And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Two and now on first down. He dumps it off to a chain. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. And they'll come up second and seven. From the gun, it's Tua. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. And now what's this? They fake the spike. He'll throw it. And he's going to get into the end zone. So the fake spike works. And they score. Tua Tungabailoa taking it in from two yards out as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Through the middle of the field. Jamar Chase, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Bengals are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll run the draw with Mostert. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. A three-yard brings up second and seven. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill, 56 yards. And the Dolphins will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Sanders on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. One, one, ready? The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. 
And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw taken in here by Chase. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Here we go. A first and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score no. game at half that might provide a psychological boost. The ball's throw caught by Higgins. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here's second and three. 11 MT take. 11 MT take. Now Burrow. This is caught, it's Boyd. And for a Cincinnati score. Tyler Boyd, 37 yards. And the Bengals get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up when we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. and Fun to watch. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guy. There he goes left side. Jalen Waddle. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Jalen Waddle in the final seconds of the first half. And the Dolphins will extend their lead here just before halftime. So this, not a stat line that you'd expect to see. Two touchdowns for him now in the ballgame, both coming on the ground. And while it may be unusual, it's obvious they found something that they like on offense and they can use against the defense. And I think they'll continue to go to it until they stop them. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. On two, right? The Bengals drive about to get going. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. And he'll find Chase on the right side complete. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Bengals with work to do in this third quarter, but they'll get the football first as we are back underway. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't... Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Cam Smith, and he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. But that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. 
turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. Daxton Hill there to make the stop on defense. Now second and nine. him in stride. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now we've got a third and four. It's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Two are going to throw. Throw caught by A. Chain. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Oh, design run for their wide out. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Jalen Waddle. A 16-yard touchdown run. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Sanders now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. 11 MT tank. Here's Burl. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating. What they need to do, where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And now they're in the hurry up. Eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two at their 49-yard line. On second down, Burrow. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Jalen Phillips, the former first rounder, getting in there for the sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another go. avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. Down the sideline he goes. With the points that we've seen scored, neither deep. Can I talk my...